The rocks are figurative statement. Jesus will be glorified. The people will, and people will be redeemed from the beginning to the end. In every nation and in every language. This is why Psalm 4610 is so incredibly important. But important if we quote the whole thing. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. See, when we cut it off, we miss the point. The point is not be still, everything's going to be fine. It's not be still, God's in control. It's be still and you will know this. I'm going to be glorified. I'm going to be exalted. My name is going to be known. My truth is going to be spoken. And it's the same thing that he was telling the Pharisees. You can't stop my name. From being glorified. The truth I want us to see tonight. To, to stick with our theme for the year. We are the stones. We are the stones. That if one stops. The next cries out. We are the stones that cry out. The reality of his identity. That cry out the truth of who he is. And who he was. And who he will always be. So don't worry about some rock taking your place. Be the stone that shouts. told Peter that the confession of his identity as the Messiah was the rock that the church would be built upon. And then Peter himself, understanding it over the years, wrote to all of us that we are the living stones. We are the ones who witness of Jesus. We are the ones who proclaim his lordship, who declare not what he will do for you, but who he is. We are the ones who preach the gospel of Christ crucified, Christ resurrected, Christ returning, ruling, and reigning. We are the witnesses of Jesus, ambassadors for Christ, ministers of reconciliation. We confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, not only for our salvation, but to bring salvation to others. Forgive me, but we must stop trying to share our faith and get back to preaching the gospel. Because just think of the two different things. When we share, we give a bit of what we have. When we preach, we, ro we proclaim everything that we know to be true. Sharing asks for permission, while preaching prays for boldness. So good. And yet we have become a people, a culture, that we're waiting for just the right time, and just the right moment, and just the right invitation to say something that changes everything. Guys, I watch some of you be bold with stuff that doesn't matter and be timid with the one thing that does matter. I watch myself do that way too many times where I'm in a hurry to tell somebody the news I just heard, but I am slow and careful about telling someone the news that changes eternity. Yes. 